we've talked about identifying organic versus synthetic, but what happens if the customer is not home? How do you tell if that red spot on the floor is organic or synthetic, a wine stain or a Kool-Aid stain? Sometimes we just can't make that out, we can't figure that out. So the rule of thumb is to always start with your oxidizer. Always start with your product that has the word stain in the name because it's a less aggressive and it's a self-neutralizing product. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually work on a red wine stain. We've asked the customer a series of questions. We asked them what it was. They told us it was red wine. Well, of course, somebody else spilled it, not them. But the important thing to understand is most of your red wines are going to be organic, like naturally occurring. So therefore, we would use an oxidizer to remove those. So again, kind of like we did with our reducing agent, all we want, really want to do is begin to add this over our stained area. I'm just going to pick a pretty square corner of this so you can actually see the difference between what has been treated and what has not. So as I said, if you begin to look at the process, using an oxidizing agent works much quicker than a reducing agent does. You can see I haven't really done any blotting here whatsoever, but the dye is already starting to go away. But again, if you look at the towel, notice that there's hardly any color transfer. If you look at the difference between our reducer and our, our oxidizing agent, the oxidizing agent attacks that dye very, very quickly. By the time this product is actually dry, the peroxide base in this product has released its extra oxygen molecule and has just become water. So there's really nothing to rinse out of the carpet fiber itself. All right, so now that we understand the process, ask good questions. Remember to ask good questions. What is it? How, old is it? How long has it been there? What have you done to it? Now that we begin to understand identifying the, the stain itself, is it an organic? Is it a synthetic? Just remember, O for O, oxidize your organic dyes. S for S, strip your synthetic dyes. Simple and easy process, ask your questions, identify the dye, use the correct product, and like I said, collect the money.